do you need to adjust your EC feeding when running these lights? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just start this as like a full irrigation, like how to handle the irrigation when you're adding under canopy. And you're going to see a typical water volume increase of about 10 to 15 percent. That's pretty standard. Almost everybody experiences that. Um, so you can mitigate that extra, you know, volume increase with a couple extra P1s on your, you know, early generative stage to get up to capacity um, or holding capacity a little longer so you don't dry back too far. Um, and then during your bulking or a vegetative steer, um, you'll be able to push out your final P2 a little farther into the day, again, so you don't dry back too far. Um, but food, food is something that is definitely facility to facility. Um, I see people who run, growers who run liquid lines that need, don't need to increase as much as people who run powder lines. And then with that, HPS growers who are adding LEDs to their room, they see a bigger impact than LED growers adding LED under canopy. Um, so there's little correlations there, but if you just want to start out at like a casual 10% EC bump, um, you know, if you're at a 2.7, bump it to 3 or 2.9, just to be safe on your first run, that's where I like to be. Um, again, I'm a less is more type of grower, so I probably won't make that bump until I start to see some kind of deficiency, um, but make sure it's more of a deficiency of fertilizer and not a deficiency of your plants drying out too much because of the increased uh, water demand being placed on them via under canopy. Um, but really good question. It's really tough. The food thing is facility to facility. I've had people make zero changes and I've had people be like, dude, I'm at 4EC now. And so it really just depends on your environment, your, your consistent VPD, you know, all the other variables that we have to deal with as cultivators.